We're doing the four step in cab air brake test. Step one, tractor and service brake test. Start the engine to build air pressure. Next, push the trailer brake button in and place the truck in drive. Well, let's start it right now. Next, push the trailer brake button in. All right, place it in drive. Allow the truck to roll forward to give the trailer a tug. We're gonna roll forward and give it a tug. All righty. We didn't move so we know the tractor brakes are working. To test the service brake, push both tractor and trailer buttons in. Move forward five feet and press the pedal. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna make sure both these are pushed in. We're gonna put it in drive. We're gonna drive forward. Now we're gonna stop with the foot brake. There we go. I didn't feel any left or right pull in the steering wheel and I felt no unusual feel in the pedal. All right, say it does not pull left or right and there's no unusual feel. At this point, turn off the truck and turn the key back to the on position. You shut it off, turn it back to the on position. This is the applied pressure test. What we're gonna do is now apply and hold 90 PSI of firm pressure on the brake pedal after initial loss of five PSI. You should lose no more than four PSI in one minute. All right, so we're gonna push this in. We're gonna watch the gauge go down. And when it stops, that's our five PSI. Now we have to time for one minute. So grab your stopwatch out or whatever, I don't have one on, but count for a minute. I'm just gonna say this is a minute. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the next test. So it didn't lose the four PSI. Low air warning alarm test. Repeatedly press and release the brake pedal, fanning the brake to cause the air pressure to drop. Say the alarm must come on before the system drops below 60 PSI. After pressure has dropped, an audible alarm will activate. Say the low air alarm has come on. So we're gonna fan this brake until this gauge goes just before 60 PSI and the alarm will go off. And when it goes off, the low alarm warning works. Well, we're gonna do it. Here I am, I'm pumping it. We're dropping air pressure right now. Before 60, you'll hear the alarm come off. There's the alarm, the alarm works. That's our low air alarm warning test. Moving on to our spring brake test. Continue pressing and releasing the brake pedal to drop the air pressure to test the spring brakes. The spring brakes will engage between 40 and 20 PSI. When the spring brakes engage, both the tractor and trailer buttons will pop out. Say the spring brakes have engaged. All right, so that means when both these brakes pop out, the spring brakes are engaged. They will pop out between 20 and 40 PSI. So we're gonna pump our service brake here to lose air pressure and soon as we go down far enough we're watching the gauge both buttons will pop out between 20 and 40 here we go it's coming down there's one and there's the other our spring brakes have engaged between 20 and 40 psi all right 
At this point, start the truck, put it in drive and tug, make sure the spring brakes engage, are engaged. So, they're engaged. We got to do a little tug test. So we're going to start this up. Vehicle is started. We're going to put her in drive. Do a little bit of a tug, see if we go anywhere. Nope, we're not going anywhere. So that means the spring brakes did engage and the brake test is done. 